Hello everybody, this is Charles and I am back with another toy review. This time for Bandai's Robot Damashi Pacific Rim Uprising Gypsy Avenger. Alright. So uh, this is the first time I actually bought a Robot uh, Spirits figure. And uh, the reason why I bought it to be honest is because this was going at a very cheap price uh, in Singapore. They were having a promotion to, uh, for the Pacific Rim Uprising movie. And I think uh, in order for them to entice collectors to start collecting the uh, Jaegers, they had a promotion for Gypsy Avenger. It was actually going at retail at a higher price at Singapore dollars, $39, but they had a special offer of Singapore dollars, $25 uh, for the first 25 people who actually went to the event, uh, their pop-up store. And actually, if you look at it, 25 Singapore dollars is about, uh, I guess, uh, 18 to 19 US dollars. Uh, which is about the same price as what you get if you pre-order it from the uh, Japanese website but uh, here in Singapore they tend to mark up the prices quite a lot yeah, the retail uh, you probably end up like paying double the uh, price uh, on the, from the Japanese yen conversion uh, so I would say that you know um, I still think it's cheap to buy this at 25 Singapore dollars and uh, that's why I bought it in uh, personally because I quite like the Pacific Rim Uprising movie uh, although I feel that part 1 is better but Part 2 does have its own flavor, so uh, I think both of them are good, uh, just that I prefer that part 1 is uh, is better. Uh, and I hope they will do part 3. Anyway, so here is the uh, Gypsy Avenger figure, you can see the box art, it's pretty nice. Uh, and then it does show that uh, it has um, 24 points of articulation, it does have accessories like the chain sword and the gravity, gravity sling. And without further ado, let me just go to the um, figure itself. So here we have uh, Gypsy Avenger. It's very nice. Uh, although this is a totally plastic figure, uh, I felt that in terms of uh, design, in terms of color-wise, I think uh, Gypsy Avenger is the best among the Robot Damashi figure. I saw Saber Athena. The plastic orange looked a little bit too plasticky, uh, plasticky and fake, so I didn't like that. So, and I look at the other Robot Damashi figures as well, but I felt the Gypsy Avenger is the one that's done most accurate to the screen. Color-wise, it's really nice. Doesn't look too plasticky, so it's really cool. Um, so there's no metal content to go through. I'm just gonna go through the articulation. Articulation-wise, you know the neck is on a ball joint. Okay, so you can actually look uh, quite good. You know, compared to GPA, the Danger you can actually look at the Avenger can actually look at a much uh, wider range. Neck-wise, okay, the lower part of the neck is another joint. You just pop this out. So this is a joint by itself. Okay, you can move sideways, uh, front, back a little bit. Pretty cool. Uh, quite nice for neck joints. Uh, Shoulder-wise, you can see that uh, the shoulder pads move, but the arms can only raise this much because the shoulder pad actually blocks the motion of the arm. So I'm just gonna take out the shoulder pad first. The shoulder is actually, it's actually on a double uh, jointed ball joint. So you can see, without the shoulder joint uh, pad, I can actually move the hands up this much. Uh, it does have a free 360 swivel on the uh, top of the arm and also 360 swivel for the wrist. Uh, no. Elbow swivel, uh, no swivel joints for the elbow, but you have double jointed elbows over here. Okay, and uh, over here you can see this part. Okay, this gray part of the joint, you can actually move it. Okay, you can actually move it. See, you can actually move this part of the joint. Uh, but I, I found that this joint is a little bit redundant because you already have a ball joint on the shoulder, so you don't really need the lower part. To, uh, to be able to rotate or swivel or it doesn't add anything to the articulation so uh, I guess this is what I felt was redundant let me just um, pop this shoulder pad joint in okay moving down okay waist wise uh, it's on the ball joint so you can see there's some swivel you have you know you can actually rotate the waist the top waist torso sorry and then it does have a little bit of a front back motion side motion as well you can actually move it sideways Lower waist wise is one single piece, so there's no articulation for that. Um, for the legs wise, cool. You know, let's go for the hip first. So the hip, you look at the bottom of the hip here. It's actually on a ball joint. So you, when you actually move, you can see that this part of the hips can actually move as well. So it's also totally on a ball joint. You can move it sideways as well to push it. If you need to do more dynamic poses, you can push it left, right. Uh, you can have a little bit of front and. Uh, back motion for the hips take a look at this so you can move it up down you know, depending on the poses you want to do so uh, there's a lot of articulation for the hip joint and if you move down to the leg joint over here it's on the ball joint 
And there's an additional joint as well, which is on a on the ball joint, so you can actually do full 360 rotation over here. Uh, lots and lots of articulation, so you know you want to do very dynamic poses, you can actually spread the legs out if you need to. And uh, moving down, you'll see you have a double jointed knees, which is cool. You now you can do very dynamic poses like this. It's really really cool. You can also do the uh, superhero landing pose as such. Ah, okay, superhero landing pose. Yeah, you can actually do that. And let me just uh, straighten it. Over here at the feet wise, it's a double jointed ball joints as well. Let me just show you over here. Okay. Over here, you can see, yes, double jointed ball joints. One on the top, one on the ankle, one on the feet. So it allows you to have a full range of motion over here. You can, and you can rotate the uh, feet freely as well. So basically, if you want to do really, really dynamic poses, it's not a problem. Let me just try to get into one nice dynamic pose. Yeah, you can actually spread the legs out this much if you need to. Okay, so in terms of uh, accessories wise, uh, it does come with all the accessories that you've seen in the movie. Let me just adjust him first. Okay, you do get a, a pair of uh, spare pair of hands. You do get the gravity sling hand. You do get the chain sword arm as well. So let me just uh, pluck it out over here. So over here, pluck it out. And you plug this into here. Oops, the arm pops up, but it's okay. So you just pop it in over here. Okay, tighten it. And you pop the arm back in. Nice thing about ball joints is that you know they just pop off, you know, they don't break off. So which is cool. And for the other arm, you can just likewise take it out. And you take the fist out, replace the fist over here, and you pop it in over here. Okay. So there you have it, the uh, accessories for Gypsy Avenger. So you see on one hand, I have the uh, gravity sling. Yes, yeah, so you can see my arm has already loosened a little bit. So time to apply some uh, new polish on it. And then you see the uh, chain sword effect. Cool. Yeah. So you know, uh, Gypsy Avenger doesn't have a lot of accessories, but it does look very cool uh, and very nice. Uh, I can't remember in the movie whether he has uh, another uh, chin saw on, on his uh, right arm. I can't remember that. But it uh, doesn't really matter. Yeah. But it would be cool you know, if they give you like, two chin saws on both arms and then you can do a double chin saw, uh, chin sword like uh, Gypsy Danger. So it's nice. I mean, this part over here, we look at the gravity sling. Uh, they have this uh, plasma effect over here, which is cool. Um, Swap wise, it's quite detailed as well. So it's pretty nice. So I think uh, for a $25 figure, I felt that it was um, a good deal. And plus the fact that I, I quite like the adventure of the uh, the design of Gypsy Adventure because basically you know he he just reminds me of Gundam. He's just like an upgrade of uh, Gypsy Danger. So it's like RX seventy eight. You upgrade it to um, Gundam Mark two, uh, sort of thing. Uh, or you know something like you know like Wing Gundam upgrades to Wing Zero Custom. So I you know I just quite like it that they actually um improve on the uh, design of uh, Gypsy Danger. So you can basically tell the Gypsy Adventure is an upgrade. Of Gypsy Danger. Ah, okay, let me just pop this joint back in first. Okay, and uh, remove this, the gravity sling. And I'll put back this. And I'll make him stand tall by himself. Okay, in the default standing position. And I shall bring out the uh, okay. Let me just adjust this first. And I shall bring out Gypsy Danger for size comparison. Yes, yes. So you can see Gypsy Avenger and Gypsy Danger. 
Uh, you can tell that I think the size is about, you know, I would say that Gypsy Avenger is probably about half the size of Gypsy Danger. Yeah. So Gypsy Danger wise, uh, the social cooking figure, if you have seen my other review, I personally like the figure a lot and I think it's really, really amazing. So uh, I'm hoping that Bandai, you know, would uh, ride on the success of... Uh, Right on the uh, rather the hype, not success, the hype. No, I'm not sure whether Pacific Rim uh, Uprising will be a success or not. Uh, but definitely, I hope that Bandai will ride on the hype of uh, Pacific Rim Uprising and uh, give us the uh, Gypsy Avenger Choco King figure as well. I know I would really, really like these two figures to be on the same scale, Gypsy Danger and then Gypsy Avenger of same size. It'd be really awesome to have them uh, side by side and you know, if, since Bandai did such a good job for Gypsy Danger by giving us so much die cast and details, I'm sure they can do a, a similar job, a similar good job for Gypsy Avenger as well. Uh, I know there's an announcement for them to do Hurricane Typhoon, it's a prototype but I'd rather they not do Hurricane Typhoon, I think they should, they should just do Gypsy Avenger. Uh, because personally, if, if they release um, Hurricane Typhoon, most likely I'm not gonna buy the figure. So I, I won't buy the figure if they release uh, Gypsy Avenger under the Pacific Rim series uh, franchise. So here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.